Hi guys, welcome back to another HIO free play walkthrough. Today we have Doggo Quest, which kind of looks like an Undertale kind of game, but we'll figure it out. Um, Doggo Quest, nowhere you haven't started, level zero. And this is just a demo, it only has level one. As always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description if you want to check it out for yourself, slash support the creator. If you like the video, please like and subscribe, because that supports me and I appreciate it. Long ago, there was a happy puppy. The happy puppy was you. Oh, sick. You lived a normal, sleepy, cozy life. Oh, that's nice. Treats and snoozing were the order of the day. This game is super loud, I'm sorry. But then one autumn day, something strange happened. A mysterious force took hold of your favorite ball. Why? You followed it. You ran into the yard. Give me the ball back. Past the tree. Into the leaves. And then, you fell. Ah, just like Undertale. It's very Undertale-like. Far, far. It's dry old skull bones. Yup, cool. It's your ball! Grab it. You joyfully grab your greatest treasure. Ah, oh, I like this so far. Someone likes to make scratches, huh? Cats. Barf, barf! Alright, let's get out of here. What's this say? Hello, friend, and welcome to the caves! Is that all it says? Yeah, okay. Did you know you can bark by pressing K? Pressing K can speed up conversations too. Oh, cool. I was trapped in here for a long time, so I amused myself by making all these signs. Oh. I like to think- I really like the art style in this game, it's pretty sick. The colors are nice. I like to think of these signs as my legacy, my form of immortality in this world. It'd be a shame if I was to tear them down. Am I barking? I call this the star view room. Oh, nice. Wow, so pretty. Number one rated scenic overlook. Though my soul may set in darkness, it will rise in perfect light. I have loved the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night. That is a really nice poem. Good job, man. That in and of itself makes this game worth playing. That poem was pretty nice. This is the first step on the character. Cave Tor. This cavern system is rich in elaborate rock formations formed by the precipitation of minerals over millions of years. Can I say how nice that poem was? I like that. This is the big pillar. According to my estimates, I believe that this formation is over 2 million years old. Wow, that's really old. Sick. That's older than recorded human history. Crazy. Wow. I call this cave the long cave. Ah, that's a good name for it. Wow, this is this should be the winding cave. Look at this winding path that we're on. Whoa. I'm a cute doggo. I'm actually not that cute of a doggo. I'm a pretty ugly doggo, to be honest with you. <laughs> but that's okay. Ugly doggos need love too. It's an ear. Do you whisper a secret? Heck yes, we do. You whisper a very, truly, extremely secret secret. I've got a secret. Oh, a coin. Give me. Please. A delightful and unexpected reward. 1G. I want to go back and mess with that... Hmm, never mind, I'm too far. I wanted to go back and mess with the stick man, though. Might do that. And this marks the conclusion of our cave tour. Please feel free to enjoy it as many times as you like. Enjoy the rest of your life. Wow, thank you, cave sign man. Did you know that when a cave drop falls on you, that's called a cave kiss? I don't think so. Alright, hit me with the cave kiss. Coming. I missed. Okay. Now? It doesn't do anything. Please be gentle. This is a delicate ecosystem. Okay. The door is locked. Okay. You find a... No barking. Why? Wow, you find a glowing star and it fills you with determination. Hello, star child. Would you like to save? Yes. The game has been saved. Ah, I'm mad! Fight me! What's with all this racket? Kelby, you see that? I think that's one of those poopies! A what now? A poopy, you know? Like on the Nature Channel. Uh, but whatever it is, it's making a racket. I'm gonna go talk to it. What? 
Don't talk to it. Oh great, you're talking to it. Hello, Poopy. What's up? My name is Heracles. Mark. I told you not to talk to it. It's obviously a killer. It's a cutie. I think something must be wrong. I'm gonna ask if he's okay. Hey, little guy, what's wrong? Nothing. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. This poor poopy. We need to help. Calm down, Gilbly. He's like, hey, little poopy. We're here to help. Tell us what's the matter. Sniff. You're lost and you want to go home? Please. Wow, Gilby. This poor poopy is lost. We need to help him, Perky. This is, it's our fish person duty. Oh, where's home, little buddy? Point out. You fell, huh? I see. Well, the best way out of these caverns is to swim. You do know how to swim, right? Um... What? Gilby, this poor poopy doesn't know how to swim. What? I said this poopy can't swim. I heard you the first time. We're gonna have to teach the poopy then. That's a great idea. You're one lucky poopy. Our Gilby here is a great teacher. Okay, poopy. Ready to start? Get your flippers on. Uh... What? You don't have your flippers? Hurry. This poopy puppy ain't got no flippers. What? Do we have some spares? We're fish people. Why would we have spares? No, you know you who would. That guy who lived down here. Oh, that guy. Oh, now I'm sad, Gilby. <laughs> he had a good run. And skeleton bones so I've got feeling so. Poopy, before your swimming lessons, you're gonna have to do a little chirp. You're gonna have to rob, go rob the house of the weird guy who used to live down here. But it ain't robbing, really. More like recycling. Here's a key. You received a skeleton key. So just head right up. Then the door up there is straight shot to the guy's dead guy's house. Come back here once you've got the flippers. And we'll get you swimming in no time. That's cool. I, I enjoyed that. I like this. This is, has very good interactions. The star has a really weird hitbox, though. That I'm not a fan of. And this music is banging. Door's locked, but you have the key. Would you like to unlock it? Yes. Click. Ooh, boy. Oh, hey, just a quick warning about this guy. He was a bit of, a bit of an... Um... Oddball. He was into these RPG video games. He liked to make these annoying puzzles and stuff. Well, hey, don't worry about it. I'll tag along and help you out. Oh, is it Papyrus? Huh. Oh, this one. I remember this one. You gotta pull one of these levers. Um, you wanna know which lever? Uh, the left. I'm pretty sure it was left. Yeah, now that I think about it, it's definitely the left. Oh, you taught me into the right. Thank you. Oh, hail! Oh, it actually was the left. Wow, you got me. What? Were you even listening? You gotta pull the lever on the left. The left lever. Left, left, left. Okay, you taught me into it, bro. Son of a... You bastard. Oh, I just remembered. Most of the levers dump you at all. To get through, you just gotta bash through the door using a turbo dash. You know how to turbo dash, right? What? No? Well, then I'll have to teach you. I hear you're a great teacher. Picture the essence of speed in your thought palace. The wind at your back. Oh, the wind at your back. The incredible roaring wind. Visualize. And then press J with all your might. It's not working. I'm visualizing. Visualizing and attacking. That, oh, I hold you. Come on, man. You suck at teaching, actually. To be honest. Oh, this is exactly what I was talking about. Box puzzles. How extremely aggravating. You get stuck. There's a box resetting machine that puts everything back in place whenever you leave the room. Alright. 
right, I'm sure this goes this way. Positive. Actually, little did you know, I'm a box selling master. Ha 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 ha. Played enough Sokoban games to see how to do this. And look at this! The same puzzle! A repeat! Good grief! Uh-oh, until something nefarious happens. Oh, I just killed- what? Oh, I just killed the box. And this one isn't even solvable! You thought. Violence isn't always answer. Sometimes you can talk your way through problems. Alright, who are we talking to? What's this? Huh? Who's there? Could you please get out of the way? What? Well, why? I'm a sad puppy and I need to get home. Your nobleness of spirits. I am incredi so incredibly moved. Come on, boxes. Let's help this puppy out. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! They blew themselves to smithereens! That's messed up! True. That was messed up, actually. <laughs> That's quite... You've made it! The house should just be right up this way. Oh yeah! Just one more thing. This guy, when he died, he, uh... Turned into a wrathful and dead skeleton race. Probably got that way on account of being so obsessed with puzzles. That's nothing you can't handle, right? You're a big muscly puppy. Go get him. Though so I might say first if I were you. How do I say? There we go. Greetings, Puzzle Star. Would you like to save? Yes. It fills me with determination. Saving fills me with determination. Uh-oh. Pyrus, what are you doing? I can't move. I'm stuck. Oh, he's on fire. Bring it, punk. Oh my goodness. Oh, puppy. You are so cute. And fluffy. Did you like my puzzles? Yes. Hooray. That makes me very happy. Oh, but is that a ball? Ah, yeah, it is. Do you want to play fetch? Yes. Contract. Smell. Smells like dusty old bones. Distraction plus one. What am I doing? What? Okay, too easy. Yeah, this is like, actually like an upgrade to Undertale. I like this. This is actually dope. Well, I can't say that yet. This is only level one. I'm being overdramatic because I've been drinking. But it's pretty awesome. Play dead. Ho 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 ho! <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Distraction plus one. I'm really good at going fetching. I wonder if it's gonna have like multiple mini games. I actually learned how to do this from my playthrough of Unishroom back in the day. The hardest type of this game ever. This old mini game. God, it was so hard. It's awful. Pretty sure it was unbeatable. Crater was super dope though, but it's so hard. Roll over. <laughs> Do you want a belly rub? Traction plus one. Okay, I'm about to go take your thing, bro. Just letting you know, I've enjoyed this, but our journey's about came to an end. Grab your bone, sir, please. Try to sell bone, but the skeleton is too focused. Maybe if the skeleton was more distracted. Alright. Fair. I don't think this is gonna have. Well, at least this level 1 doesn't have multiple endings like Undertale, it doesn't seem. Oh hell. I actually got hit. Wow. Tragic. Stick to the middle. If you're too far to the left or right, you might not be able to dodge. Fair tip. If you're in the middle, though, you're safe. For the most part. How many distractions do I need to get on him? Is there a way to turn this game down? Like, I turned it down on y'all's end, but I cannot hear myself breathe. Smells like dusty old bones. Distraction? Okay, it tells you when your distraction's good. That's nice. Stay in the middle, boy. Right in the middle. 
that's what we do. Oh, that one was super easy. Thank you, friend. Oh, I stole his head. Oh my god, actually. Oh. <laughs> Silly puppy. You're spunky. They always say, quit while you're ahead. <laughs> and now I know what they're talking about. Well, I feel like after all this fun, I need a long nap. Feel free to come in and take a breather. Oh, and by the way, the flippers are in the back room. Consider them a gift from a friend. See you on the flip side. <laughs> oh, this has good play on words already. Oh, Lord. I love it. Water sausages, your old friend, the noblest of flowers. Oh, that's not what I was trying to look at. Hello, Fetch Star. Would you like to say? Yeah. He plays Go. It's dry old skelly bones. Yup, cool. I'll miss you, Mr. Skelly Bones. A riveting game. Of... It's close, but you think Black is in the lead. I don't know how to play Go at all. What a sturdily constructed chair. Such well-crafted joinery. Fills your heart with joy. The flippers. A lovely pair of yellow flippers. They smell clean. Take. You require some cool new flippers. Da 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 Shortcut. Yeah, talk to them. A lovely portrait. You think its eyes look a little sad. I'm a little bit sad. Because I know I'm probably coming to the end of chapter one. I really enjoy this game, actually. Damn, I want more of this. I'm gonna donate. I'm gonna donate to this game. Because this game is actually fucking amazing. Great, you've got them! Alright, let's get started. Listen carefully, Poopy, because I'm not going to repeat myself. Swimming is simple yet profound. No one can teach you how to swim. You have to look deep into your heart. You have to find your true self. And your true self is love. Swimming comes from the heart. Do you understand? Groove is in the heart. <laughs> Yeah, I got you. Wow, you're a quick study. Yeah, what a prodigy. You had to yell at me for like five hours. So you know how to swim. Give him the certificate, Gilby. Oh yeah, that's right. Of course, here you go. You received one swimming certification. Come on out, Poopy. Puppy, the water's warm. Oh my god, I look traumatized. See what did I tell you? The secret is love. Hi, Poopy. You're doing great. They're not calling me Poopy no more. Um, we did tell them about the dangerous curse, right? Um, crap. Oh God. Thank you for playing Doggy the Quest demo. We hope you will join us again for the rest of the adventure. Hell yes, I will. This game was awesome. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to the game if you want to try it for yourself and support the creator. I'm going to support the creator myself because I actually super enjoyed this. Uh, I, I am a big Undertale fan. And this has potential to be really freaking good. I like that they made the minigame match the thing I was doing. If they had like multiple minigames, that would be amazing. But yeah, thanks for watching as always, guys. Bye!